In this video, I'll be showing all you bad randoms how to actually play a gem grab. This guide was created by Arcade and turned into a video by myself. So let's get right into the best tactics, strategies, and brawlers to win. Now you're probably thinking, what is there to know about gem grab? Well, besides the basics, there's quite a bit. The first and arguably most important part of gem grab is winning. To win, you need to collect at least 10 gems while walking over them to pick them up. The gems will spawn throughout the match from the gem mine located in the middle of the map, and the first gem will always spawn on the bottom right of the gem mine on true blue side. And the gem spawn times and locations are all fixed, On while you guys don't have to know that, it wouldn't hurt to see them all listed here. And you guys can take a screenshot, you can pause, do whatever you guys need to do. These gems can be spread out throughout your team members, and once your team reaches the minimum amount of gems to win, which is 10, the countdown will begin. After the 15 second countdown, the team who triggered the countdown will be victorious, and the best way to guarantee reaching that amount is to have a person on your team collecting the gems, also known as the gem carrier. Now what is a gem carrier? Well, they are brawlers that have abilities that help them maintain the middle lane and or have high survivability, making them the best brawlers to carry most of the gems. To determine whether a brawler is a good gem carrier or not, you have to account for the big three. 1. Are they a good brawler for the middle lane? 2. Do they have enough abilities to stay alive and apply pressure in that lane? And 3. Which is optional. Do they have a good escape tool? It is also preferred that the gem carrier is able to support their teammates from the middle. That brings us to our signature gem carrier, Gene. Are you looking for a gem carrier? Do you need scouting and pressure? Do you need support when you're low? Well, look no further than Gene. Gene can apply pressure from long distances, can keep himself and his teammates alive with his push and healing. And alongside that, his super can pull the enemy gem carrier to him, which basically just brings all of those gems to your team side, making it one of the strongest gem grab supers. Other great gem carrier options would be Piper, Pam, 8-Bit, Gus, Bell, etc. As long as they can live for a while and help a lot from the middle, then they are a good gem carrier. Just try not to pick up a lot of gems if you aren't the gem carrier to make their job easier, especially if you're a lane brawler. In fact, here's a good list of how good each brawler is as a gem carrier. As you can see, most of the brawlers high up tend to live for a long time, which is the main objective of the gem carrier. Depending on the map, you can use more close range options freely like Buster and Poco as middle lane brawlers. Brawlers that should not carry gems are the one that play in lanes and usually are way more aggressive than the middle brawler, because if a brawler misses the attack with all the gems, it will be speedrunning the lost countdown in no time. So if you're a Mortis, please do not pick up the gems, and please go for kills. These brawlers tend to stick to the left and right lanes, speaking of which... Lane brawlers play on the left and right, and their job is to be as aggressive as possible to push up the map and try and hold the enemies as far back in their spawn as possible. It is also their job to make sure nobody flanks the gem carrier. Of course, with your job as a lane brawler to be as aggressive as possible, you have to remember to go back and protect your gem carrier from dying, even if it means throwing yourselves to the enemies to die. And a lane brawler is any brawler that is not a gem carrier, so that includes any tank, medium range bowlers with no longevity, or fragile long range bowlers that when you have a better gym carrier. So lane players out there, I know it's fun to spawn camp the enemies, but please remember to be the bodyguard for your little gym carrier. They will appreciate you forever, and you will win a lot of matches by doing that. Well, that was the full gem grub guide. If you made it this far, make sure to subscribe, comment, and like the video if you guys want to see more of this type of content. The next guide I'm going to be making is a huge mega pig analysis and breakdown, so stay tuned for that. Also, in the future, I'm going to remake this video so it's better quality when I actually know how to structure these kinds of videos. Peace out!